During the material condition hour, we cleaned walls for the most part. Got a bucket of soap and we got some rags, dirty ass rags. And we the United States military. No better yet, the United States Navy, the 1%, the world's greatest Navy. The question I hear most often from, well, the 99% is, what is life like in the Navy? So I caved in. There's a demand for information, and I'm here to meet those demands. To you, the 99%. I aim to answer your questions about the real-life Navy, truthfully, in the best of my ability. And now my whole team sped up. I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck? These young bucks making them bucks. We had the whole city with us. It's like party city with us. Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? 911 the Baby Goat, welcome to the Goat Farm. I got something for you. Today's video was actually brought to you by this subscriber. If you have a video or a question that you would like to see a video made on in the future, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. If the question get a lot of likes or I think the question is good, I'll probably make a video about it. Now, let me just take this off. Grasp it in your hand. So today, I'm gonna try to go over what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis living on an aircraft carrier. Now. I want to start off by saying I have never actually had to live on an aircraft carrier outside of being on deployment. Well, all of my experiences actually are on deployment. So that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Without further ado, let's get to it. First off, let's talk about what the burden is like. Uh, disgusting. It's pretty fucking gross. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a room full of men. I don't know what to fucking tell you. I've heard the female burden is just as bad, but I don't know. I only can tell you what the male burden is like. It smells like dick balls and socks everywhere. And on a good day, it just smells like dick and balls. Now, the burden is made of cubicles, and each cubicle has three racks. So think of it like a small space that you enter. Uh, on one side of you, you got three racks, one, two, three, top, middle, and bottom. On the other side of you, you got three racks, top, middle, and bottom. It's pretty close for the most part, so I hope you're not claustrophobic because you're going to be around a lot of people. I would recommend that you get the top rack. The reason being is a lot of the times, the middle and the bottom rack tends to get stepped on by the person who sleeps on the top rack. Now, that's not me saying that I advise you to step on people's rack. Don't be an asshole. I'm just saying I want to eliminate the equation of me possibly getting my shit stepped on. So the burden for the most part uh, is pretty dirty. We try to keep it clean, but you got a lot of dirty people that's going to be there. And yeah, there's a lot of tight spaces. And as far as how big the burden is, they range. But for the most part, I would say most burdens are about the size of a nice living room. Now, that's not to say you're going to have as much space as a nice living room. No, think of... I don't know, 20, 30 plus men living all in the same living room. However much space you calculated in your fucking head, that's about how much space you're gonna actually know you're gonna have less space than that. Now continuing the conversation, what does my day-to-day -day consist of on an aircraft carrier? First thing first, try to wake up an hour ahead of everyone else, an hour before you have to be to work because a lot of people like to rush it at the very last minute, honestly, because they're probably sleep deprived. But a lot of people like to rush it at the very last minute. And you don't want to be one of the people that's rushing it with everybody else that's rushing it. It would be better if you just go ahead, wake up about an hour in advance, take your shower, put on your clothes. You got time to stretch and, and scratch your ass and shit. But the first thing that I typically do, I wake up about an hour early. I go ahead and get dressed. Okay, I'm lying. I don't wake up an hour early all the time. But for, for YouTube's sake, I wake up an hour early. I go ahead and get dressed, and then I head down to my work center. When I arrive in the work center, we make sure that everybody is here on time, and the people that's not here on time, they probably going to get an ass chewing and yada, 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 yada. Anyway, in about 30 minutes, we went to cleaning stations, morning cleaning stations. This isn't the same on every ship, but on our ship, we had cleaning stations twice a day. And what cleaning stations is, is basically when we clean the ship. So after we mustered first thing in the morning, we took our sleepy ass back to our assigned spaces to clean the ship for about an hour. We called it MCH, Material Condition Hour. During the Material Condition Hour, we cleaned walls for the most part. We got a, we got a bucket of soap and we got some rags, some dirty ass rags, and we and we cleaned for an hour and once that hour was over we went back to our work centers and then we started the day and for me the day was on the flight deck i am an aircraft director so most of my working day is on top of the flight deck in the fucking sun trying not to die for about 16 hours a day extremely dangerous job but that's a video for another day now if i'm lucky i'll have some chow okay i'm being a little facetious most rates actually do have time to eat it just so happens to be that i was in a rate that didn't have much time to eat because my job as an aircraft director was so go 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 I barely had any fucking time to actually do anything that's eat email family shit 
shit while thinking about eating and emailing family. In fact, if you're curious on just how underfed and overworked I was, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck else to tell you, but choose your rate, choose your fate. Then I'm taking my ass right back to work, trying not to die on top of one of the most dangerous work environments in the world. And if I have a break, I'm on my gaming laptop or my gaming system to just trickle down the time a little bit until I gotta be right back up on the flight deck in like three minutes. Typically I would finish late at night. Now I know this may not sound that exciting, but the truth of the matter is, being on an aircraft carrier ain't that damn exciting. For the most part, it's just work, tedious work. That's all you're doing. And in your off time, you're just looking at the fucking ocean. Now, this isn't a day-to-day -day type of thing, but every now and then we would have something called ice cream socials. And it's basically where these motherfuckers will go get different flavors of ice cream, you know, cookies and cream, caramel, chocolate, whatever the case may be. And they're just giving it to people and it's meant to boost morale. The problem is on my ship, they fucked that up too. But they fucked that up too because they micromanage how we can eat the ice cream. Say for example, if your favorite flavor was cookies and cream and this particular area was the one that was serving cookies and cream. So you and your friends, you go to that area to get cookies and cream, but you don't want to hang out in that area. So you try to go get cookies and cream and then take your ass back to your favorite hangout spot. But no, no. These motherfuckers will try to make you stay there and eat your fucking cookies and cream in the designated area because they playing karaoke or some shit and they know people don't want to stand around for that bullshit ass karaoke. So they're trying to make people listen to that bullshit ass karaoke by putting all the good flavors in the room with the bullshit ass karaoke. I'm still mad when I, God damn it. But yeah, anyway, day to day life on the carrier is actually pretty boring. Every now and then we do something to spice it up. Maybe we'll have a celebrity in the middle of deployment to come onto the ship and say, hey, to the people, those aren't really day to day things. There are more things that happen every now and then. Now, when I actually do get off of work, I go in the lounge area and I bullshit for a while. The reason being is because we get off late. Everybody is bum rushing it to the shower. Me personally, I hate standing around waiting for the shower, especially when motherfuckers is butt ass fucking naked in line and shit. Just. I'm next, bro. Most divisions have a lounge area somewhere where they can kind of go sit down, chill, play video games, lounge around and talk. That's where I would go to after work. I would let people get their shower out the way. That way, when it's time for me to go take a shower, I basically, I walk my happy ass to the damn shower and I'm the only one in line. Anyway, I'm taking a shower. The showers are basically like these metal containers that you walk into, the water turns on. It, hopefully they, they got hot water for us. I'm taking a shower, making sure to avoid the fucking shower curtains because I can't tell you how many generations of men have relieved stress on those shower curtains. After I'm done taking a shower, you know, brush my teeth, put on my night clothes, whatever the case may be, I head back to my rack. If you're the type of person that likes a good sleep after a hard day's work, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're gonna have to get used to talking shit or putting foots in asses. Cause people love to goof off and play around when it's time to go to sleep. I don't know what to tell you. I know you thought during the military, you're gonna be around some of the most mature people in the world. Fuck no. Then the next thing I'm pretending to do while I can't sleep because I got fucking sleep apnea is pretend I did not hear a female sneaking into the burden and pretend even more like I don't hear her getting her cheeks clapped at two o'clock in the morning. If you stay up late enough, you're going to hear ass cheeks clapping in the burden. They might be a females. They might be a male. Point is, stay up late enough. You're going to hear some ass cheeks clapping. And then I finally fall asleep, man. And I repeat the exact same fucking day over again. There are some people that have to live on the ship even once we pull into port. But I'm going to be honest with you. That shit's probably trash, too. You got to step in certain areas to use your cell phone and get coverage. And, it, and you're constantly around military. And when you first get there, you're definitely going to have the ooh, ah. But it gets old fast. 9-11 the baby goat. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Be sure to comment in the comment section below what you would like to see next. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Uh, the simp. This was the uh, simp butt hurt theme song. I ain't gonna lie to you. This used to be my shit. <laughs> this is how it used to be my shit.